Hey guys, it's Buddy Simon 2 here, and today I am playing Minecraft Pocket Edition on a Samsung Galaxy phone. It has been quite a long time since I have played and played Minecraft. So yeah, well not played, I've played Minecraft obviously on the computer, but I have not played for a very, very long time on a, what's it called, on a computer. On, on a phone, that's what I meant to say. It's going to be a little bit more harder to edit, so I'm going to go in and fill out my details, and I'll catch you guys in a second. Okay, to start things off in this Minecraft Pocket Edition, my name is Buddy and 702 For some weird reason, it did not accept me being named Buddy702, which is quite weird. I see we've got a lovely background of the ocean update, which has actually come to here. And servers, okay. Hive like. Can I, can I see if I can add a server on here? Can you add any server or is it certain servers? So let's play dot skycade. This is the only one I know at the moment. Dot net, is it? Not net? Let's click dot net. And let's just go kkk. Okay, okay, okay. No. Um. Yeah, when I started typing that, I thought that was probably a bad idea. I doubt it will be available. Because I'd say it has to be a pocket edition server. Okay, so let's go on Lifeboat Network and see what happens when I do this. Because I actually didn't know you could play a lovely multiplayer on here. Pandas in the background. Oh, the new panda update. Oh... Oh my god, this is so overcrowded with stuff, like... Okay. The lifeboat news, okay, yep, not really interested in that there. Well, okay, this, this is actually quite interesting. Weird cars. And I'm not sure if you guys can see all these round circles and that from my fingers and that they're being on the screen. Can you can you talk on here? I would not have a clue on how you'd even... Oh, there, there we go. Let's go. Hi. Um, exit. Yeah, I'm not sure how this exactly works. Should I just ask them? I'll see. Is every... Oops. Everyone. Playing pocket. I struggle to... bot perhaps not everyone is that responding to what i just said that bot yeah this is going to be a very interesting video because i'm not sure what to do i'll probably go into survival anyway cool cool oh, i haven't i haven't nope. Just do that there. And you want to be a friend? I suck. Okay. Scissors. Oh my god. That is bad spelling. I'm not used to typing sideways on a phone. Anyway. Let's just transform. So like Bumblebee or something. Okay, now the real question is, yeah, I don't see how this is interesting to people. People donate, okay. Well, that's good enough, so let's just go save and quit, I suppose. Loading resources, and let's see if I can pop into a lovely 
I'm not going with the friends. You have not become a member of any realms yet. Your friends are not playing Minecraft right now. Oh, that sucks. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let's start ourselves a new world. Okay, so let's get right into creating this new world. So the new world is going to be a create new world, a world name, and it's just going to be called a test world. Let's call it test survival issue, uh, V I V A L. And yeah, I'm not sure if you can pick up all this surroundings going around me because I'm just using my microphone on my phone to do this. This is a single player game, difficulty, normal, world preference and starting map. Don't know what starting map does. Unsure about that. Infinite, yep. I'm so, hang on. Continue maybe. I'm used to the old one, but let's just go Oh no, let's go, yeah, let's go to the old one. I will go in here, but look at my old saves, because I saved with them there. But, show coordinates, oh, you can have coordinates on now. TNT explosions on, mob loot. See, when I used to play Pocket Edition, it probably would have been five, six years ago on one of the original iPods. And probably when it first originally came out, anyway. Because I used to have Pocket Edition before I owned the PC version. So anyway, how, how do I do this? Create, there we go. So yeah, sorry if it's mumbling on. So do people actually read these? Well, I'm reading it. Mesh up, mash up. Okay, let, let's see how this goes. I've got, I've got a map. What, what does this, what does a map of it? Okay, interesting. I don't know why I've spawned off a map. I think I might need to go ahead and like turn the sensitivity down because this is quite. Can you run? Yep, you can run. Nice. And how do I chop this? Hold it in, don't I? What? I thought I'd push this to be creative. I mean, survival, not in a creative world. So anyway, let's just do this here. I don't know why this is going to be like motion sickness playing this game, which is quite weird. Oh. So anyway, I suppose I can just destroy some blocks and push this button in here. And, oh, this is all new to me. Mob spawner. Um, how do I actually put that in my inventory though? Like that there, beautiful, okay. So, is there a way for me to fly then? Is it this one here? Oh, beautiful. Now let's, can I... Very interesting. Now, since this is a normal old world, can you create a nether in this game now because I know for a fact you never used to be able to so um there's this button down here um o o B obsidian push that there and we need to go back and flint I need to push that there that there beautiful then close out, thank you. Surely it exists if they've got the oceanic update on here. I would expect it to exist. They do have the ocean update, like, yes, I can see a little drown there. This is really bad view underneath. But I'm actually amazed that this is going with no lag or anything on it. Which is actually very surprising, like, the rendering is pretty good for this game. Can it work? Is it going to work? No, they don't need the nether for this game. I thought they... Or have I built the portal incorrect? No, I haven't built the portal incorrect. 3 by 2 yeah. Okay, let's quit out of this game here and go into an infinite world. 
and see how well it handles the loading of just like just running constantly. Create new world, survival, creative, continue, difficulty normal, infinite, yep, that's what I want. And I don't, I'm not sure what all these other ones really do. Random tick speed, I'm just going to keep that there normal. Hit one, I'm pretty sure it's normally three on the PC version. I don't know why it's really got pandas in that big here. Oslet show creepers who's boss. Yep. They can be held or drawn or thrown. Yeah, you guys probably see me die a couple times. Okay, so the, the loading in is actually pretty good. Let's head towards the sun. Now it did say you can have coordinates up somehow. I'm not sure how you do that. But let's go into fast paced mode and see if the game gets any lag. So far it seems pretty good. Seeing all the chunks load in pretty smoothly. This game is handling it quite well. And to reiterate, I am sorry if you guys can hear me breathing quite loudly. It's just a sensitivity with the microphone or if my hands are muffling it. So you can see a nice ocean update here going through. And what this seems like I don't know, it's just a normal structure, a normal odd chunk, I suppose. Doesn't want to load in there. So you just fly around. Um, it is pretty smooth, I should say. Now, the question is, does this game now spawn in villages? I'm not sure if those have been added in yet, but that would be pretty cool. I had a go around on the Pocket Edition, not Pocket Edition, Xbox version, and they had villages, which was quite neat, which I do not normally play. Just played around on the Cousins one. So let's just fly around here. Oops, you can see caves down underneath for the little bit of lag that's being generated. Oh, there is villages now. Very interesting village here. Is there a way that I can give you guys a seed if anyone watches this? Slash E C D. Does seed exist? No. So, oh, you guys don't. You can't do seeds. Oh, okay, I thought that they were about to set a command. Okay, never mind. So let's pop down and see if we can trade with one of these villages. Hello, oh. Trade. Come on, let me, let me get out of this. Come on. Okay, there we go. Let's get ourselves some string. Some string, there we go. Put that there, put that there. Put that there, put that there, and can I go along? No, I cannot. Let's close out there, click trade, and put this over here. And take all the emeralds. Let's place down our emeralds here. Get that there. Close off, I see it pops off arrow. My finger can't get quite, is it going to do particle effects? There we go. Oops, sorry, it's, no, I don't mean to hit you. Trade. Oh, so the trading system is actually quite good, but I can't push the little X on the top. So if villagers in here, surely there's a way to put portals in that down. This is a very confusing video for me, and probably confusing for you guys, but I have no idea how this game works anymore. Let's try, maybe it's just that world, because it's an old-fashioned world. That could be it. That it was, since it's old style, it doesn't generate the end. Not the end, I mean the lovely nether. So let's, well, the nether's not that lovely, but let's see if that was the case. Here we go, and flint. The nether exists in this game. This is absolutely amazing. Let's pop through. 
building the terrain. Now, I would like to try, if you guys enjoy this video, I'll try and see if I can find my old saves from my world. Oh my god. This is amazing, seeing the nether. Um, I don't know if this is going to show up on the screen or not. That was a weird glitch there. But the nether. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, there we go, I'll just pop back through here. And then we'll go and see if... Oh, I see there's an enderman. Enderman's been added to the game, so I'm assuming the Ender Dragon. Could you find that there? Is there a command for slash locate or teleport? Yep. Uh. Uh. The the. Oh, no, not set world spawn. Teleport where? That doesn't work. Okay. So let's go and type in portal and I have ender. That there, I have ender that can go down there. And I'm not exactly sure if you can create these portals, but we should find out in a second, shouldn't we? Well, I'll find out. You guys are probably going, oh, yep, this is how you do it. Let's go one, two, three. I'm pretty sure it's a 3x3 three three portal, eh? That seems correct to me. Oops. You can hear that lovely sound there. Let's place those down there. Oh, really? Okay, is there a way that I can... Can find the end. Let's fly up and let's speed this up a little bit, maybe, and add some sound effects until I find the end. Okay, I'm now putting the recording back down. Hope you guys enjoyed that little time lapse there. And surely, surely, it can't be in this desert biome. Because on the server I play on, which is currently down at the moment, and my survival world that, that you guys might be might have seen or might not have, the lovely nether portal is in the desert, and all the ones I've played on, I mean end portals, have all been in the desert, which is quite weird. But it doesn't look like it is. Is there a way to set time? Day. Send that message. There we go. Beautiful. And when I used to play this game, there never also used to be commands in. So I'm not exactly sure what version it was in, but I'll about to try and figure out for you guys. If there's a way to, like, tell when the year was. Oh, where's it, where's it gone? Tell me go this way? Okay. Let's speed this up again, and I'll be back with you guys in a tick. Okay, so it appears that we now have to go down to the depths of the ocean below. This is really interesting seeing this revealed. Seeing this massive temple or the, I don't know what you actually exactly call it. This is very interesting. It's actually awesome. So I'm assuming it's in this big room here. How do I... No, this is a library. Um, now... How do I exactly find the end portal? This is... Let me... Let me get down. Ugh. This is... This is actually going to drive me insane, isn't it? Come on. Seriously. Don't know why, but when this stuff here goes weird, it makes my nose hurt. Okay, I'm just going to fly up through the roof and try some other buildings. Get back once I get out.
Okay, so I'm now managed to get out of here. So I sort of have to assume that there's probably another library. I'm pretty sure there's only going to be one library. That's another library, so no, there's more than one. It's got to be like a little room on the side. What keeps going back this way here is massive. So I don't, there's probably another library below here. and pop down through here this is very very dark um as you have way torches tor torch let's close it there oops and lots of spiders okay is this a portal room up here Weird water glitch there. No, nope. it was obviously just down that way. Hmm. There is this route. What is what does this seem to be? This is um interesting. Don't know what this little chamber here is meant to be. Never seen one of these and. PC version, so it's probably something new for the Pocket Edition. If there even is a portal, but there's Endermen, so there must be. Hmm. Okay, hello then, Drowned. Weird seeing you walking around here. And since I'm holding this on my hands, this is now starting to hurt my wrists. Because my wrists are quite weak at the moment. From work. But let's hope that. Hello, Scully. Let's hope it's around here somewhere. If not. Okay. If it's not through this door, I'll skip it out and I'll see you guys once I find it. Okay. I'm going to skip ahead until I find the portal and see you guys then. Okay, people, it has been probably. It's been a good 45 minutes. First look at the clock. And I accidentally come across it. I just made my own portals before and it just wouldn't work. And I was just about to give up. And yeah, I've had a little bit of a rage. Okay, so it looks like you can make the end portal here. Can, can I go into it though? Okay. And let's look up. So you can have the Ender Dragon. That is cool. And the problem is I don't, I don't think there's any commands to kill the Ender Dragon straight away. So it's a pain. So I'd love to be able to see if there's any End Islands. Hang on, let's see. I'm assuming there's an Elytras. Okay, so there is a Lightress, so that is pretty neat. I am probably going to end it off right now, because I've, had, I've been playing this game way too long right now. So I don't think there's a way that I can get into a different perspective. But here is my Steve skin, and I'd love to thank you guys all for watching this video. It's been very frustrating, but it's been me entering a world that I'm not used to. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this random popped up video on my channel. Hope you guys enjoy the new video that is going to be coming out very shortly on the channel. I'm not sure it's going to be very shortly, but it's another episode of Minecraft where we will be working on the storage system in my survival world. And there may be also an auction not included video coming out in the next couple of weeks as well. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Cue the outro. You can be my new thing.